What's up guys, I'm um, doing a, a real quick video on where I got my LEDs from for uh, my HVAC unit and for my cluster unit in my car. So, this is just the before and after. <clears throat> Alright. Um, this is referring to my, the video uh, 2005 Scion TC HVAC unit, how to solder and desolder LEDs. A uh, bunch of people are giving me, uh, mess messaging me or commenting and asking like where where I got the LEDs or what I use. So I'm just going to do a fast video on this. Um, first of all, I'll go to eBay. And <clears throat> on eBay, you just type in PLCC2. That's the type of LED I use. Um, you, bu you can buy usually like 50 of them, like a strip of 50. The strips of them look like, uh, like this right here. Let me see if I can put um, each one of these uh, little LEDs are in like a little little uh, pocket in the strip and it usually comes with like 50 to 100 of them. I got like 50 blue LEDs for uh, $4, uh, 50 white and 50 red also for $4 for both of them. So um, really you can order any of them, like any of these they're pretty much will be fine. They um, come usually from Hong Kong or uh, China. So, I mean, you're not going to find any, I don't think, from the United States. And, uh, yeah, so I just want to show you. This is where I got the LEDs. This is where, um, this is where most people, like, if you go to buy a kit to do it, that they'll charge you $100. They're really getting these LEDs for $4. And they're not even, they're actually only giving you enough to do your, your whole, um, cl cluster unit or HVAC unit. They're not giving you extras. I have still over, like, 50 extras of, like, all the colors because I got a bunch of them, so... Um, a lot of people like to go to this website here. It's called uh, LED Mods, or yeah, LED LEDmod.com. Show up here. Um, this is where I would. Um, this is where I first went to look. Um, you go over on the left side, and you click on Scion, and then uh, 05 and up. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, anyway, so there's a whole list of like the. Uh, LEDs that they used and all that stuff so what I, what I first did was I saw the prices and I was like yeah like I could probably do it for cheaper so I found um, I just basically found all those LEDs on eBay so then um, I, I went on to I went on to LEDmod.com and um, I, I had found that there's uh, resistors I had to do for the HVAC unit which is right here that's the um, climate control and the HVAC conversion kit. Um, now there's 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 also another kit that the guy sells that's just the resistors for it, which are like the smaller. Um, it's like the smaller pieces. I could see see if I could find one on this video for you guys. Um, yeah, but anyways, so so the uh, resistors I never found on eBay. So you'd have to go order them off. Uh, off this website, uh, ledmod.com. Um, yeah, so that's the LEDs that I used. Um, here, here's a good picture. All right. So just this is just in my video. Uh, that's the LED, and this is the resistor. One of the resistors I had to switch out. Um, like I said, the the resistors I couldn't find on like anywhere else. So I had a I went to the guy. Um, you can just go on his website and just call him up and just tell him what you're doing and then he'll send you the right resistors for what you need. Um, they're really small. They're, that's the hardest part is usually the resistors. So just be careful when you do them and take your time. Um, all right. So the next thing is the solder I used. Um, I went to Radio Shack and you can use rosin core solder or you can use silver bearing solder. I'm pretty sure I use silver bearing solder, but I mean, I know, I know they're pretty uh, similar. There's also a uh, yeah high tech rosin cores silver bearing solder which is um, I think that's probably what I use I don't know something like that but uh, just get the really thin wire stuff because that's like easier you don't need a lot of solder for these LEDs you need a really little tiny bit so just get the thinnest kind of wire you can pretty much get um, all right now moving to the soldering irons the the uh, 25 watt pencil thing is 10 bucks at Radio Shack. That's the one I have, and then I also have this one, which is the 40 watt. So it just gets a little hotter. 
This is thirteen dollars. I would just get a Radio Shack for it. Um, it's real cheap, but it works really good. Um, for the LEDs, I'm pretty sure I used the twenty-five watt, I believe. But um, for the for the LCD screen, um, where where you have to take off the screen to you know where it's like where it shows your miles and everything on your odometer, and also for the HVAC unit, um, let's see. Also for where is it at? Where is it at? Okay. Also for this screen, um, you have to unsolder a. Uh, you, you know, I have to take the screen off, I'm pretty sure, and, uh, you know, so you need something that's going to be a little hotter, that's going to melt a little better, so I used uh, the 40 watt for that. Um, yeah, and if you're going to solder any wires together, like in your car or anything, probably the 40 watt will help you out a little better, it'll get it hotter and the solder will go in it faster. But yeah, so um, that's where I got, that's where I got all my soldering stuff, it's basically from Radio Shack, and then the LEDs are on eBay. Again, it's, uh... You just type in PLCC2, and that's the type of LEDs. You, um, when you're looking at them, it'll say, uh, where is it? 50 times LED PLCC2, so that's the kind of LED. And then 1210, 3528. I believe that means um, the candle power or the, uh, the brightness, basically, of it. Blue SMD LEDs. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they're all basically the same. As long as, you know, they look like that, they should be the same. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. And, yeah, so just leave the comments uh, down below if you have any other questions. Thank you.